I'm going to tell you what most guys are doing wrong right from the get-go. A couple things. If guys are sliding up here and they're getting right over the top of the bull like this and they're nodding their head. Now, when do I want to be out in front on a bull? When he's, when he's rearing. When he's rearing. Is he rearing right now? No. He's not rearing. So if I'm right here like this and I say, go guys, and he turns, what's going to happen to my body? It's going to sit me back. When he kicks, it's going to jerk me forward. I'm already out of time. So the posture I want when the bull's standing in the chute is right here, straight up and down. I'm sitting straight up and down. And this is just like watching a fastball come at you. You got to be breathing. You got to be watching. You say, go, guys. Right when you say go, it takes them a second to open the gate and for the bull to step out. So you got to you gotta be watching what you're doing. You can't just be like, go. Oh! That won't work. You got to breathe. Watch the bull, okay? And then you're like, go guys. And then you watch the, the gates coming open. And then when the bull turns, that's when I'm gonna come up forward as he starts to jump, okay? Very important that you don't crowd him up over his head because he's gonna sit you back. Now, the next thing I wanna show you guys is that you don't wanna be sitting dead center in the bull either, okay? The first jump, you do something a little bit different. You want to get away from your hand just a touch. So I sit up straight. This is what I call offloading. And I reach my, my free arm leg. I ride left handed, so I'm reaching with my right leg a little bit more forward than my left leg. Can everybody see that? Can everybody see that my hips are kind of cocked? Okay. When he's out in the arena, I don't know which way he's going to go, right? But he's in the chute. Which way is he going to go first? He's headed that way first. Okay? So. What I want to do is get away from my hand just a little bit like this, and as he starts to turn, he pulls me into center, okay? So he's pulling me right out. Basically, it's a way to pick up his timing. Now, you might, you might say to yourself, what happens if he backs up and turns around backwards? I'm already sitting right there. If he backs up and he comes right here, I'm, when a bull's turning back away from my hand, I want to get in there just a little bit, right? Look. I'm already offloaded. Bam, I pick him right up. I'm ready to spur on him. You get it on, we're going to the short round. You got it? Okay. Doesn't matter if you're on a left hand or a right hand delivery. The principle is the same. Okay? So when you ride away from your hand, you kind of get a little bit more bind on your rope. All right? So as the bull takes off, he's going to automatically pull me into his timing. Now, once he starts bucking in the arena, I'm going to ride dead down the center. Okay, but this is just a way to start. So you guys just remember, sit up straight, and then reach forward with that leg. Cock your hips. Go, boys. Bam. Get it on. That's all.